Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about this firewall here. This firewall is gonna be the most important wall in your whole building. The inspectors, when they come through, they don't really care about that wall. They don't care about exterior walls. This wall right here is the most important wall in the building. This wall separates, a firewall separates two units. If, if it's a duplex you have or, you know, a multi-unit commercial building, whatever you're split, whenever you're splitting a unit up, you gotta have a firewall to separate the two sides from not the fire not going to the other side. Right here we have a two hour rated firewall, which calls for two sheets of five eighths drywall. This firewall per our UL design, each screw has to be 12 inches on center, all the way up. <clears throat> all the way up until there's shit all the way, you see how we got the, uh, it goes all the way up into the, into the little, uh, creases or whatever they had to cut the drywalls to go up in there everything <clears throat> so uh then you have to use like a a fire rated insulation also you don't want to put the pink insulation in there because it's combustible or whatnot and then we got a second layer of drywall each layer is one hour is rated for one hour of uh fireproofing or whatnot I mean, I don't, my fire station is right across the street, so I don't know why they, I mean, I guess that's just code or whatnot. <clears throat> I hope this building doesn't stay on fire for two hours, but I uh, hope it doesn't stay on fire at all, but you know, catches on fire, but whatnot. But yeah, you wanna make sure that your screws and everything are exactly 12 inches, you know, a couple more screws. I don't, I don't think they'll trip about that. And I don't think they're gonna actually measure the distance for each screw but they want to just make sure you got the right type of screw. Actually, the first screw is like an S-type screw that goes through the metal. And then the second screw is a G-type screw, which it's just drywall to drywall. It's not going all the way through the first sheet of drywall. It just attaches to the first sheet of drywall. And we'll probably put some type of glue or something on there so to make sure it stays bonded to the uh, other sheet. And then you want the creases the second sheet has to overlap, has to go about, I think a, a foot or two over, I'll say two two feet or one foot over from, from the, uh, cause it can't go two feet cause then the next one would be a foot. So one foot over, they don't want the fire to seep through the little cracks, I guess, or whatever. And then on my outlets, <clears throat> these boxes are covered on the outside with a fireproof, with a fireproof uh, clay made by 3M. So the the fire can't go through through the uh, through the boxes, I guess, or melt the boxes, I guess, or whatnot. And then we're gonna put um, expanding foam that's fireproof around all the little beams that's going through the wall. They don't want no plumbing that's supposed to be coming out of the firewall unless it's unless it's uh, steel or copper. And uh, like I said, this wall is the most important wall in your whole building has to be done to spec. And that's my lesson on the firewall.